Mark, it's one of those games that was tightly contested. Could have gone either way. One team could have nicked it, but at the end, you, you share the points. How do you feel? Yeah, he, he, the positives you take out of it, Rich, is that, that obviously it's a clean sheet. You know, we've, we've changed three of the back four on Saturday and, and, and got a good result on a clean sheet, and you get another one now. So you take those positives. I just thought the, the whole game was a, a little bit flat. You know, from our point of view, it was, you know, we effed and puffed it and, and just missed out on that, you know, little bit of quality at given times, which would have created uh, maybe one or two more clear cut chances, you know, and that's my, that's my take on the game. We, we looked solid enough defensively. But uh, you know when we went forward, time and again we got in good positions and either cross into the box, hit the first man, or we didn't. We got into situations where we could have played in earlier. And our, our selection wasn't great. Just a little bit off it in that final third, which could have turned the, the, the point into three. It's one of those things. You know, we're here a week ago against Brentford, really disappointed. Luton on Saturday, really happy, and kind of in the middle somewhere today. Yeah, kind of in the middle. As I say, I always knew you know when you go away from home anywhere and you score five goals and totally dominate the game. You know, I've been in f football long enough to know that you know you fear that you're not going to start off really buzzing because there's a little bit of a, a lag on the back of that. And uh, you know, f times in the first half we, we, we sat off them a bit too much and just just that little bit of spark to our game wasn't there if you like tonight. But you know, uh, defensively again, full credit to like, you know, two centre backs. Tom McIntyre was was outstanding at the back for us. Michael Morrison as well, and we've got a clean sheet and we'll take that forward. Yeah, we, we called it a fairly bold selection on, on Saturday, and yeah, most most of the same selection again. And yeah, playing really well some of those young boys. Well, I was never, yeah, I was never going to change anything from Saturday. You know, forced on me, you know, thinking about you know Ov Ajaria had a bit of a problem with his ankle after a bad tackle on Saturday, and again, a night like tonight, you're looking back in hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, you, and you think, well, you know, somebody like Ov tonight, that little. He, he makes a big difference in those final thirds. So, you know, we, we missed him in, the, in that area tonight. But, um, you know, as I say, we hopefully he will be back the weekend and uh, we just prepare right and get, get on with that Saturday. It'd been nice if Michael could have just found a corner in that last final second, wouldn't it? Yeah, again, it just, you know, it boils down to the fact of our, our, our selection at the time. You know what I mean? And other times, Michael would have took a touch and, and drilled it with his laces or, or, or struck it with his laces anyway. And it just, it was, it was indicative of the night, really. It was just, you know, Decent stuff at times, but we lacked that real, real spark to actually go on and win the game and, and, and put our dominance on it in the final third. Kind of past that halfway point now of this uh, of this kind of final run of games, these final nine. So, yeah, I guess uh, in these final four, you've got Charlton's the first one. It's just uh, yeah, picking up points in every game, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, and it's a little bit of you know the what if you know the two home games you know against obviously uh, Stoke, the first one you know went documenting my fevers and that one, and again tonight we just you know. Just making sure we we didn't really put our stamp on the, those games. Stoke we did, but reported the second punch. But again, we've got to try and be a bit more clinical at home. It's obviously, building up to, to Charlton, we say after every game now. But the turnaround time's not not that long. So uh, when when you're back in, you got any time off? Well, we'll between? we'll actually have a day off tomorrow. It'll be our first one in about two weeks, I think. So um, I think you know, just in terms of the players being off their feet, you know, I'd expect them then to come back in. A little bit more fresher, obviously Thursday, and fresh mentally as well for the game Saturday. But difficult game at Charlton. You know, I watched the, watched him play the other the other night and um, against uh, Millwall, and, and you know they're, they're a force on their own their own ground. So it'll be a difficult game for us, but we'll we'll be as prepared as we can be. And what we've seen over the last few weeks, there's a lot of teams that are kind of in that sort of um, sort of sludge pile near the bottom of the league that have got so much quality. I mean, Huddersfield have proved it tonight. They've got. Quality as yeah, well. They've, so. they've got they've got quality and, and, and pace and, and power in, in good areas of the pitch, and uh, you know they've obviously just come down from the Premier League anyway, so they got the remnants of that in there as well. And uh, you know on the night, yes, I mean they, they asked some questions of us, but I was pleased to say we went back forward the way they worked. And young Gabe Osho got a little bit of cramp in the last five ten minutes, but uh, all in all, two clean sheets and, and, and solid work from the back four.